My name is uh, Fred Kavenge. I am the current TBI principal and I'm also equally doubling as TCWM coordinator for East and Central Africa region. It has been a great privilege to have this opportunity to talk about TBI and the great work we are trying to accomplish for the kingdom through this ministry. The genesis of this ministry goes back to 2015 when TCWM was first registered with a goal of taking the gospel to the unreached. And ever since then, conferences have been held, especially here in Kapchoa. And later on, we moved up in Guru. There is a great need for discipleship in Africa. The church in Africa is growing in terms of numbers, but there is a huge gap when it comes to uh, true discipleship. So TCWM, through its uh, educational arm, TBI, realized the need to come on board and help in preparing the Bride of, of Christ here in Africa through the conference training of TBI. The teaching has been wonderful. We are reformed in terms of our doctrine, communicating Christ alone, through faith alone, and uh, the, all that based on scripture alone to the people. So they've seen the gospel, the true gospel of Christ being proclaimed to them. In other words, we emphasize the five solas as we communicate our message to the people across the board. As a result of these conferences, many came to appreciate what TBI is doing. And so there has been a need for more formalized curriculum to be developed. It has been a process which involved first and foremost developing this curriculum and also identifying the faculty that would fit well into the training program of TBI. Um, apparently, by God's grace, we have been having a wonderful faculty. Many of our teachers are well trained locally here. We have uh, uh, teachers from Westminster Christian Institute, Uganda. Actually, most of our faculty comes from Westminster Christian Institute, Uganda. And they've been incredibly wonderful in helping the training program. Uh, we also work closely with Africa Reformation Theological Seminary and uh, uh, it was last year 2020 in February that we finally succeeded in having our curriculum, formal curriculum, accredited by the National Council for Higher Education. So right now we continue to have two tracks of our programs. The unaccredited, the conference-based uh, uh, approach, and also the accredited program, which is actually uh, being administered on a modular basis. We have these programs running three times each year, and uh, each time we have uh, teachings that go on. For instance, the, the non accredited program we have uh, uh, three centers here in Uganda where we hold conferences here up in Kapchora. We hold conferences for TBI which actually focus exclusively uh, on those who are unqualified in terms of entering our accredited program. They don't have the necessary credentials to allow them to register or to be admitted in the accredited program, but we equally see the need to train them for the work of ministry because a number of them are involved 
as pastors, elders in churches. So we continue to work along those lines. So we have a center here in Kapchora, we have a center in Gulu, we have a center in Kasese. But also across the borders, we are already uh, working in Rwanda, Chigali. We have uh, a TBI center in Chigali. Here in the neighborhood in Kenya, we have a, a center in Endebes, Kenya, which is actually also uh, targeting pastors and elders and Christian workers in, in the Kenya uh, area. We are also looking forward to moving uh, into Tanzania, uh, Burundi, and the rest of Southern Africa. Our vision is to uh, minister to the Church of Christ in the East, Central Africa, as well as Southern Africa, and the Lord willing, probably the whole of Africa. That's our vision. So currently here in the accredited program, we have a team of workers um, uh, acting as the TBI principal. I work in the administrative office, uh, to, trying to manage the uh, administration of the, the college. Uh, together with me, I have we have a registrar, John uh, Sally, who is our registrar. He also doubles as our quality assurance officer. We are also having a librarian. We have a wonderful library which was set in press a few years ago. And uh, it is one of the best libraries we have across this area. And people are appreciating coming up here to do their studies. And we believe that uh, with this wonderful library, many of our students are going to really benefit in doing their theological uh, work and uh, all the assignments that we uh, offer to them can able to be carried out using this library. As I have mentioned, we are expanding and our goal is to have as many students coming on board as possible and actually this involves some level of marketing. Our registrar is doing a great job moving to churches, going to schools, uh, going to different uh, parts of the country trying to uh, market TBI and uh, the response has been so good. Right now we have students who are coming as far as north, uh, the northern part of Uganda. We have students who are coming from the western part of Uganda. Some are coming from the northwestern part of Uganda. Here in Kapchora, uh, people are responding and they are registering into our program. We are also um, looking forward to continuing to um, recruit uh, teachers because as the school grows uh, we really need a full-time faculty. So our, our major task here is to disciple men and women and send them out to be a resource in their home churches. And as a result I, I believe that these people will be able to continue to disciple the Church of Christ. And the Church will continue to grow and become strong and firm. Our vision is not only to consolidate the Church per se, but we are also looking forward to becoming a sending Church. There are so many areas which are still lacking in the Gospel. And as the church grow here in Africa, as people become mature and well established in the faith and have a grip on the reformed faith, uh, we, we believe strongly that the Africa is going to be a sending church. Missionaries will begin to move from Africa back to Europe where the gospel seems to be declining and other parts of the world. So we are really very grateful for what the Lord is doing here at TBI. There is need also to look into the aspect of vocational skills. Uh, this is very crucial because many churches are beginning and uh, they are being started on wrong premises. People are beginning churches here, especially among the evangelical circles, with wrong motives. Some are beginning churches to survive, okay, to have an earning and then manipulating people. And all this is coming about simply because uh, 
those who are involved in ministry are not equipped with extra skills that can help them to survive as they serve as ministers in these churches. So TBI has a vision down the road, the Lord willing, that together with theology we can also integrate vocational skills. We can equip those who are being trained theologically to have extra skills, extra vocational skills that can help them to, to survive. Okay, as they carry on the work of ministry, they should be uh, by vocation. So we are looking at the aspect of tent making, the Pauline way, Paul as an evangelist, uh, busy uh, preaching the gospel, planting churches, but he was also a tent maker. In that way, he managed to be able to survive during those moments when things were really very hard on his part. So we are looking into that aspect as well. But as we move forward and as God opens up, such programs can also be somehow integrated into our curriculum. Because right now what we are offering is basically a diploma in theology with missions and a diploma in biblical studies. So these are the two accredited programs that we are offering our students with their accompanying certificates. So briefly, that's what I would probably have to say concerning the work of ministry here at TBI. And I continue to believe that the Lord will continue to expand this work, even as you, our listeners, and you, our partners, continue to support us and to be behind this work so that it will continue to grow and impact Africa and the world over to the glory of God. Thank you so much.